Get up, Paul. You must go with Grivon. Why? What's happening? The regions have decided to banish you. But Corian said that I... Corian is an old fool. I promised to help you get home. <laughs> Do you want to go or not? Where are you taking me? Somewhere in the regions won't find you. Paul! God! God! She helped the boy escape! Seize her! Sorry I treated you badly before. But you must admit your story was hard to believe. Yes, I still have trouble believing it myself. Exactly. Can we start again? I want to be your friend. Just help me get back to my own world, okay? As soon as you tell us how to make gunpowder, you'll be on your way. Now, how do I know Ash will keep her promise? Trust us, Paul. We will help you back home. We got you out of the cell, didn't we? Now, please, what do you need for the gunpowder? Ashka! Ashka! Has the girl been found? Not yet. I'm afraid she might have escaped the castle with the boy. I have guards searching the forest. I want the boy found. And I want her sent straight to the wasteland. Yes, Regent. I want every room searched. Get more men if you need them. Every effort must be made. When you find the girl, bring her straight to me. Shall we search her room first? If she was in here, I wouldn't be asking you to search, would I? list of ingredients for gunpowder. Good. Was Paul cooperative? Of course. We're friends now. Make sure you list everything he does. Once we have his secret, we can be rid of him. About a dollar twenty. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more than that. Why? I found a way of getting us up to the Cape. Two kids are going on a study camp there this weekend, and we can bribe them to let us take their places. Well, I've got about a hundred bucks in the bank. I'm saving that for new fishing gear. Alex, we're trying to save Paul's life. Yeah, all right. I'll go to the bank at lunchtime. Oh, great. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Um, what kind of camp is this anyway? Oh, a literature camp. Literature? Katrina, I've never even finished a book. 
Come on, now's your chance. Did you get everything? Yes, it took me most of the night. What's the purpose of cow dung? That's a catalyst. That's a scientific term. You'll have to grind that very finely. But let's start with the bacon. Give me three slices, not too thin. Thank you. Do you mix the bacon with cow dung? No. The bacon isn't for gunpowder, it's for breakfast. Did you get the eggs? Flying ship one will patrol the eastern mountains. Flying ships two and five must stay in the castle for repairs. Touch the bath last time. I want it spotless. And don't forget to sweep the floor. I finished grinding the bed, Crystal. Pinch in the bottom of this jar. <clears throat> Half the baking soda. And some vinegar. Okay. Quickly, put it in the jar. Quick. Seal the top and shake it. Shake it. Put it down. Now run, you have to go upstairs and expose it to the sun for an hour. You'll have to keep stirring it or else it'll burst into flames. Good luck. Tiana McDougall. Yeah, do you know her? Yeah, we went to primary school together. She hates me. Oh, well, just be nice to her. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Deanna. Oh, you're looking really uh, a great, Deanna. I mean, you used to be such a squirt, you know. <laughs> you, you've really changed. Pity you haven't. You're still a creep. Why are you two so keen to go on this camp? Oh, well, we both really love literature. Mm. Get real. Alex had to repeat the third grade because he didn't know the alphabet. He's never read a book in his life. <laughs> well, who cares about books? Look, the bottom line is uh, Katrina and I, we love each other, but uh, her parents won't let us see each other. Star-crossed lovers, like in Romeo and Juliet. How romantic. So, so anyway, um, going on this camp is the only chance that we'll have to be together. Katrina, you can't seriously look like this illiterate verbal. Um, oh, he's really nice when you get to know him. So, do we have a deal? How much is it worth to you? Fifty bucks? Wow. Each. No, no take it easy. <laughs> I thought you two were in love with each other. So how did you two get to go on this camp anyway? We won a writing competition. I wrote an essay on my experiences with boys. Oh, really? Oh, I'd like to read that sometime. <laughs> it's called Life Sucks, and so do boys. Mine was about Hemingway mm -hmm. and the Spanish Civil War. I got a bulls, blood, and bullets. Oh, oh cool title, man. <laughs> but what's a Hemingway? Um, you can show these notes to your parents. They explain that the camp's been cancelled. Now, I want to hear all about your romantic weekend as soon as you get back. I might make it the basis for my first novel. <laughs> Yo, 
Go, girl. Stop dreaming. Keep working. I didn't stop staring. It didn't catch fire. Well done. Okay, put a little bit in here, carefully. The gunpowder's finished. Now, all we need is small clay pots to make the fireworks. I'll get them now. We should finish making fireworks before sunset. Good. We'll test them tonight. Show me the gunpowder, Paul. It's here. No! You dare to touch me. I'm sorry, Spellbinder. But the gunpowder would have exploded. See? I want to test these fireworks tonight. Well, we can't do it here. We'll wake up the whole castle. Very well. We'll go to the ruins at dawn. No one will hear us there. And then you'll help me get back home. If the test is successful. Grivon. Have you made a list of everything the boy has done? Of course. Good. Then make some gunpowder of your own. If yours works as well as the boy's, we shall have no further use for him. for help and I'll send you straight to the wastelands. Good day, Spinbinder. <sighs> what are we going to do with her? I don't know. But if Paul causes any trouble, I'll let him know we've got her. Wake me at dawn. from school. He wants to speak to you. What about? I don't know. Hello? Sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Muggleton. Hmm. That's quite all right. Uh, two of our students were going on a literature camp this weekend, but uh, one of them is sick. I was wondering if uh, Katrina would like to take her place. There's a literature camp on the weekend. Would you like to go? Oh, Mum, I'd love to. Yes, Katrina would love to go. Wonderful. Uh, she'll be picked up outside the school at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, uh, there's a $120 fee. The cash would be preferable. Thank you. Good night. Griven, we're from the same village. Help me. You never should have left Clay here, Rihanna. Did you bring the gunpowder? I followed Paul's instructions exactly. 
Good. Let's go. The girl has removed her gag. Let her scream. No one will hear her. Oh, it's time to go. <coughs> What's in the sack? It's breakfast. Great. You can have some after we have tested the fireworks. Where are they? Yeah. Put that on. I'm not wearing that. The regents are still searching for you. We have to sneak you out of the castle. Money for the camp. Have a good time, darling. Mm -hmm. We're very proud of you. Alex? Why are you looking like that? I don't want anyone to recognize me. Oh, great. You got my money. Nick, off, it's my mum's money. Oh, what about my costs? Diana and Nathan? Uh, uh, that's us. Good. You're all paid up, Diana. Ah, uh, Nathan. You still owe a hundred dollars. Thank you. Let us take our best and biggest shields, put blazing helmets on our heads, and go forward. What a dipstick. <laughs> Hi. Onward to Troy. to pull from his cell and hid him in the cellar. She's been getting him to make gunpowder. He's in danger. You've got to help him. That's what he made the gunpowder in. I'm not telling unless you take me with you. You'll do as I say. No, I won't. You're the most stubborn person I've ever met. You should meet my mother, Spellbinder. <laughs> I'm Alex. He's Nathan. I'm Deanna. I'm Skye. Well, I bet you're not an airhead. <laughs> Your air sky, yeah, get it? <laughs> so, uh, read any good books lately? I absolutely adore the Iliad. Yeah. Yeah, I ha haven't got to that one yet. But it's required reading for the camp. We've all got to read from our favourite passages. I never get away with this. Just remember, we're doing it for Paul.
This was a Spellbinder castle, too. It was destroyed by the Marauders. You are in the darkness. Okay, I don't know how big this explosion will be, but we should take cover. I can't see what all the fuss is about. Well, what do you think? I don't think that would scare a baby, let alone a marauder. We'll try a bigger one, then. what I was hoping for. Now will you help me get back home? Soon, Paul. But first I want to know more about this world you come from. I'm not telling you anything else, and I'm not making any more gunpowder unless you two help me get home. It doesn't matter, Paul. I've made my own gunpowder. I need to speak to you immediately. It will be to your benefit. What's it about, Regent? Carry on! It's a private matter. And agile. I'm just a fool once now. Tie the boy up and wait here. You're never going back home. Yes, he is. Let him go! You are right, Paul. Your knowledge is too dangerous for this world. We have to get you home. Griffith! 